Tell me about how you found Cavanoma Alliance. Well, I mean, we found out about it because uh, when we went to the uh, neurologist and were told that Pat had a Cavanoma the first time, and we left and he said, uh, well, you're very phlegmatic about all of this, uh, which I don't think we realised what was coming. Uh, we went to the web, or Pat went to the web and looked up Cavanoma and found Cavanoma Alliance uh, on the web. and. Uh, that turned out to be very helpful because there was information on there. We knew almost nothing, well, we knew nothing about cavernomas at the time. Uh, the neurologist knew it was a cavernoma, probably didn't know a great deal more about it than that, as we felt. And so uh, we got in touch with Cavernoma Alliance. And I'd have to say uh, we owe uh, them, and uh, Ian Stewart in particular, a massive uh, uh, debt in a sense because through him we were able to find out what it was, we were able to learn about other people, we met other people at the forum, uh, we got our second opinion through Mr Kitchen, through Cavanoma Alliance and it was in a sense a life-saving uh, uh, thing for us. It gave us a confidence, it gave us an ability to do things which we wouldn't have known about otherwise. So uh, I personally am very, and Pat, I'm sure too, very positive about uh, them and how they have helped us. And of course, since uh, we've found out about it for ourselves, we've found out about it for other people and learned what it's done. We're here in uh, Skegness this weekend with a young person's Cavahab and talking to the people there. It's very clear that what Cavanoma Alliance does for people is for, for what is, in a sense, an unknown kind of. Uh, problem or uh, issue uh, has been has been massive. We have three uh, nieces and nephews who are uh, becoming doctors at various stages. None of them were taught about cavernomas in their training. And so the idea that Cavernoma Alliance can take this forward is of vital importance to us.